The following is a production of Learfield Sports. This copyrighted telecast is the property of Black Bear Sports Properties, LLC, an affiliate of Learfield Sports, LLC, under rights granted by the University of Maine. Any rebroadcast, retransmission, reproduction, or other dissemination or use of this telecast or any part of it without the express written consent of Black Bear Sports Properties, LLC, is prohibited. This legal disclaimer is brought to you by Lanham Blackwell & Baber, proud supporter of the Black Bears. If you have any legal questions, visit them at LanhamBlackwell.com. Hello and welcome to the Black Bear Insider. I'm your host, Brian Sullivan. We've got a great show on tap for you this week. We're going to talk a little baseball and softball. Head coach Steve Trimper stops by, as does senior captain MJ Fogle. We'll also go to National Letter of Intent Day for the main football team as they announce their 2015 class. We're also going to go into the pool with a GoPro on a diver. This you won't want to miss. We'll also take a trip to Alfond Arena where the Maine women's hockey team had their skating strides game, all part of the work going on with the Dempsey Challenge. Not to mention a record number of student athletes were honored this past week at Scholar Athlete Night. Chief among them, Liz Wood and Wilson Adams. Also a check-in with Athletic Director Carlton Creech in this week's edition of Carlton's Corner and a look at the U.S. Cellular upcoming schedule. This is the Black Bear Insider. Bear Insider is brought to you by Lanham, Blackwell & Baber, U.S. Cellular, UMaine Recreation and Fitness Center, Fisher Plows, Maine Savings Federal Credit Union, EBS Building Supplies, and Digital Workshop. Welcome to U.S. Cellular. My family of four would like to switch to your best plan ever. You know you don't actually need four people to get our best plan pricing. Oh. You can connect anywhere between two and six devices to our 10 gig plan and we'll pay off your old contract. We'll just take the two lines then for a phone and a tablet. So, how long have you been married? Switch to our best plan pricing and get our new $100 trading guarantee. U.S. Cellular. No matter what your game is, indoors or out, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center at the University of Maine is your place to play, work out, relax, and have fun. The Rec Center has state-of-the-art cardio and weight training equipment, a pool, spa, and sauna, a running track, and more than 60 fitness classes a week. Or take your game outside with the Maine Bound Adventure Center. Hit the climbing or bouldering wall. Learn how to kayak or go rock climbing. Whatever game you like, the Student Recreation and Fitness Center is your place to play. In case you're wondering, it's the Fisher Extreme V, taking snowplow efficiency to a whole new level. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider, now joined by Maine baseball head coach Steve Tremper. Tremp, thank you very much for being here, and uh, it's a very exciting time. We've been outside a little bit, but uh, getting ready to really get going here. Yeah, we, uh, we, we were actually fortunate enough about a month and a half ago to get on our field, and then, of course, the, the, the northeast came, weather hit, yeah. came down. But we did, uh, did get a quick trip down to Florida this weekend to play, um, play four games. Um, you know, first time out of the gym, or dome, I should say. It's uh, typical what happens every year with us. We look like a a million bucks in one game and we look like a dollar in the other game sure. and uh, you know uh, didn't play great defense uh, I think one of the things for us that we have to get used to is uh, we play on turf so much whether it's even in the spring and mm -hmm. certainly the fall baseball season that we have um, playing on dirt is a big difference and there's not a really um, easy way to simulate that until you just start taking ground balls and getting game speed on that so our infielders were a little bit back on their heels a little bit mm -hmm. that's why we end up committing about three errors a game um, that we, we really errors that we should be making but a lot of positives. We got a ton of guys in sure. uh, that first weekend. Um, we, we did bring 28 guys in the trip, and we got 27 guys got in the game. You know, and, and most of our, all of our position players except for one got a start. So, just wanted to kind of get their feet wet, um, get everybody some innings, and see where we're at. And as we go on to the rest of the spring season for us, until conference season starts, start to fine tune our lineup a little bit more and mm -hmm. see what we have and 
and, uh, and, and start to uh, lock into a lineup. So that's a conscious effort you made. You go down there and you want everybody to get out there and get a little bit of time. Yeah, I mean, especially, I, you know, I keep preaching on this team that we have this year. We have a lot of depth. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to show that, show that depth and also utilize that depth. So, um, you know, you can get rusty in this game if you sit around too much. So, um, you know, we're carrying really 19 position players right now. We're going to try to get that down to where 13 of them are going to get consistent playing time. Mm -hmm. We have a little bit of a lefty-righty matchup thing that we can do this year yep. you know we're carrying three catchers which helps the advantage last year we really were at one catcher at one point when one got hurt so i think it's going to give us some opportunities to play some guys early and see if they can get some experience no you mentioned a little bit but give me a little rundown of the makeup of this year's team what do you think you've got yeah you know i really like our offense uh and you know today it's hard to say this but i really love our defense you know sure. we like i said we didn't play well for those first two games the last game in florida that we just played we played from remarkable we got great pitching we played made all the plays we got some timely hitting Everything went well. It started to click on that last game and a half, I should say, or two games. But our, our, I like our offense. I think we have some really good keys there that can hit and swing the bat well. We're not a tremendously fast team that we've been. We used to be a base-stealing team. We have more of a power guys right now, so you know, hopefully that'll, that'll build well for us. Uh, on the mound, we have a lot of pitching. We just got to establish the staff. You know, we, we know, hands down, Scott Heath is our number one, one of the best pitchers, I think, in the conference, if not the Northeast. Um, so we're a little, really trying to find the twos and threes and bullpen guys. You know, a lot of candidates right there. Uh, Justin Courtney, although his line, and, and along with Jake Marks, the two pitchers, their line didn't look good after this weekend. Mm -hmm. They really pitched well. We, we didn't make some plays behind them, even plays that didn't go in the books as an error but probably should have. Um, that didn't help them out. But we, we, once we play a little bit of defense behind them, I think they're going to step up and and do well, but you know you got a lot of guys in, in uh, Charlie Butler, uh, Jacob Geisel, and uh, um Jeff Jelinas. You know some guys that have some some experience on this team from last year. We just need to get them uh, established in the, in the bullpen or in the starting lineup. Sure. And now uh, I guess I ask every time we see uh, you know you, we talk about the makeup of this team. Think you got what it takes to uh, make a run at a conference title? Yeah. You know I, I think we're we're pretty much a typical main team. You know mm -hmm. if, if we can if we can grind it out, fight through the adversities of weather and travel and those things. You know those are the things that kind of wear on your team sometimes. So if you can put your guys in a good mental state of this is what we have to do. Um, you know, you just want to make sure that you, you're, you're doing everything you can to get to that conference season. You know, I, believe me, I'd be the first guy that one would love an at-large bid or to go 56-0, and 0, but sure. it's just the way college baseball has morphed yep. since the 80s and early 90s where, you know, they're just so far few in between for a northern team. You really got to do everything you can uh, to play tough teams, to put you in tough situations, to get yourself ready for your conference. Get in your top two or three in your conference in that tournament, and then play well for three days. Yep. That 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 really is a success of your season. Um, yeah, the team has a, a tremendous attitude. I've, I've never had a team that worked this hard. Uh, it's no disrespect to the other teams. It's just that um, we we really think these guys have good mental makeup and. We just got to start putting together baby steps and, and starting to progress as the conference comes up on us. Sure thing. You know, it makes me happy. Every time that we get to have you on the show, it means that warm weather is right around the corner. So <laughs> I at, hope. at least maybe you can go find some in the weekends ahead. But yeah, uh, no, yeah. I hope it's around the corner. We got a little bit of snow in the field right now, but so does everybody. That's so. Right. Uh, so hopefully that gets off soon and we can get out and practice and certainly get some home games here coming up. And one thing that people might not know is Coach Tremper, pretty much an amateur <laughs> meteorologist, got a finger on the pulse of uh, Mother Nature. So if you yeah. ever have any questions, you know, the news is letting you down. Yes. Tremper, I, I, folks, step right in. I know how the jet stream works now. I know sure. what's coming. You know, I'm, I'm as good as the guys on TV, I'd say. You know, that's my ego stepping up. But, <laughs> and, I, and I don't want to be like that. It's unfortunately, I'm forced to do that just to sure. get up. Flights all set and bus trips and home games and umpires and all those things you got to do. Yeah, all right. Well, there's a couple of hard questions there for Trent. And if you got any weather questions, of course, you can go his way. But uh, now we're going to ask a couple of questions of uh, Carlton Creech in this week's edition of Carlton's Corner. Red Gendron announced a generous donation to begin the Grant Stanbrook Fund, uh, an endowment to support Maine hockey. It's a great effort that will provide lasting perpetual funding for our men's hockey program, tremendously important for the future of our hockey program and the support that we need. It's being supported already, as we've seen, by Tom and Sally Savage with their Savage Challenge gift. And the next five years, we'll be looking to build additional support for that endowment. It's the lifeblood of the Maine football program, National Letter of Intent Day. Listen in as the Black Bears announce their 2015 class. You support your Black Bears at the game. Now, you can support them everywhere you go. Introducing the exclusive Black Bear debit card only at Maine Savings. The Black Bear debit card is free to you and supports the Black Bear Fund each time you use your card for a purchase. Just open a red wallet account at Maine Savings. 
Stop into our new College Avenue branch or any of our other convenient branches. Show your pride. Make a difference. The exclusive Black Bear debit card, only at Main Savings. EBS Building Supplies knows time is the most valuable resource you have. That's why they offer free delivery anywhere in their service area. Fast, convenient, and free. That's the EBS way. So whether you're a professional contractor or a do-it-yourself homeowner, no delivery is too small or too big. And custom ordering is always available. Use EBS free delivery to make your life easier and your home improvement project complete faster. EBS Building Supplies. Can do. Just ask. How's that 4G LTE? Hold on. You sure you got service? Yeah, I've got UF cellular. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Pretend you're a tree. U.S. Cellular built coverage way out here, so you can search the web in a pinch. I can't believe the tree thing worked. What was your backup plan? Tower on you. 4G LTE towers where you don't expect it. National coverage where you most need it. U.S. Cellular. Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider, joined by senior captain of the Maine women's softball team, MJ Fogel. MJ, thank you very much for being here. It's uh, an exciting time. Uh, got a couple games under our belt, and you're playing them in a little bit warmer weather. Oh, yeah, definitely much warmer than uh, Orno here, but we had a blast down there for a short time that we were there. Looking forward to going back real soon. Now, uh, as you get going here, when did you start uh, your, your preseason? We started preseason, I mean, we've been going all year, uh, work, work, workouts in the summer, going through the fall uh, with our new strength and conditioning coach, Colin Kilberg. Uh, we all kind of banded together, worked hard early mornings, and then afternoon practices through the fall. Um, and we kept it going throughout the winter until now. Now, after all that time you spend in the batting pavilion, in the dome, then you finally get your first taste of playing softball outside uh, last weekend, what was that like? Oh, it's great. We miss it. I miss dirt most, mostly. Uh, turf is fine, but when yeah, right. you get to touch the dirt, it's always a great feeling. Um, it's a little different uh, getting used to just seeing a ball outside or seeing a ball in the air. The wind is a factor, sun is a factor, but we adjusted really quickly. Now, you play a ton of away games before you get your first home game. Uh, it, it's just kind of, you know, business as usual for you guys, right? Oh, yeah. We, we know that weather is a factor here, obviously, being a spring sport but we kind of make the fields we play at our home field. We adjust quickly, and that's something we're really used to. Now, uh, as you get to think about playing some of those home games, take on other America East opponents, are you you're familiar with those teams? Obviously, you think that this team has what it takes to make a run in a conference championship? I really do. I think we're a team to watch this year. We have a lot of new girls, but they've adjusted from travel ball to uh, college division one softball very quickly. and. Being around America East sports for a long time, everyone is competitive. Everybody could win on any day, and I think that we're really going to show up this year. No, I want to ask you a little bit about the, the things you do as a, a student athlete. You're uh, studying to be an elementary educator, and you've, even you've been to a couple of places for your student teaching in, the, in this area? Oh, yeah. Um, I did my student teaching last fall for two sessions. The first session was eight weeks at Abe Lincoln Elementary School in Bangor. I was in kindergarten. It was so much fun. I loved all the kids, and then it was hard to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. But then the next seven weeks, I was at Letter Middle School in sixth grade. A change, but still also very fun. And that's what you want to do. You want to, and you think you're going to go home to Virginia to try to try and do that? Uh, yeah, that's ideal. I'll move back. Uh, you leave these, these snow banks behind. Uh, you, you can actually say goodbye to this beautiful weather. Oh, it's vacation land. I know, but <laughs> I I do like the warmth a little bit. I grew up with it, but um, I it really is up to jobs. I mean, sure, I'll, yeah. I'm going to go where there's a job. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah. I hear you there. So uh, I guess before I, I let you go, your, any goals for this year as you start to make your way through the schedule? Um, we really just want to show well against good teams, work on some things. I think our defense is really solid. It's really getting our bats going. And then uh, we're going to try to win America East. That's the main goal. Uh, everyone's on board. We're really working for it. All right. Love it. MJ Fogel. Good right. luck this year. Now. Uh, a few years ago, MJ signed her national letter of intent to come here to play softball for the Maine Black Bears. Well, last week, the Maine football team hosted an event at Seasons Bar and Grill in downtown Bangor to announce their 2015 class. Take a look. National letter of intent day. It's a great day for Maine football, really, for football across the nation. 
this day, mark my words, they're gonna they're gonna shift this day down the road, get it away from the Super Bowl, so they can have more hype for it and all those kind of things. It'll probably be a national holiday by the time I'm in my grave. We went across the board and tried to make sure that we, you know, addressed our needs. You know, the immediate needs, uh, not so much. They're more two years down the road. Um, we, we were able to, I think, also make some determinations on. A young man that we just said this kid is 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 too good for us not to recruit we're, we're looking for football players first and, and young men that are passionate about the game at the age they're at now they're going to learn a lot about themselves you know in high school you know sometimes they they get away with being better than everybody else that won't happen in college they're going to be competing with all of very all state guys all, all conference guys very good football players and they're going to have to dip into their competitive spirit and find out how good they are and um, so we, we try to, in advance, identify that. Do these guys love the game? Are they, they realize what they're going to have to do to be successful. And, and, and for the most part, we feel like that's, that's a, a real common characteristic of this group. Well, i got to recognize the staff here for the job they did, not only in identifying these prospects that uh, we got a chance to bring up to campus, but also just you know, the stick to it in this, you know, because this was challenging. And sure. our players did a great job while the guys were on campus, but uh, uh, we had to show Maine as it truly was, and it's maybe it's snowiest time, and, and we, we ended up with a great class. And I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about that. This is the first time we've done this uh, and, and uh, you know, kind of shared uh, our, our recruiting class with the public and having an event like this and, and, and in, a, in a setting like this with... Uh, um, you know, supporters of our program and, and, and people that love athletics in general and, and Black Bear athletics in particular, um, it's nice to be able to come out here and share this with the, uh, you know, the people that are here tonight and, you know, the, the buzz of talking about football and, and, and what's going on too up at Maine Athletics with the success that the teams are having. Um, I think that's really neat. Well, that wraps it up for the first National Letter of Intent Day here at Seasons. Thank you very much. We'll be back here next year and uh, go Black Bears, right? After the break, we'll head to Alfond Arena for this year's Skating Strides game. The Maine women's hockey team working to raise money for the Dempsey Challenge. Hey Black Bear fans, my name is Brett Baber with Lanham Blackwell and & Baber and this is Compliance Corner where we help you understand some of the most commonly misunderstood NCAA rules and regulations that affect our Black Bear athletes and its program. Today I'd like to talk to you about NCAA gambling guidelines. Student athletes, coaches, and athletic department staff cannot place a wager on any college or professional sporting event 
in which the NCAA conducts a championship. This includes wagers for items such as cash, meals or apparel, fantasy sports leagues, or sports pools such as March Madness Bracket Contest. Additionally, student athletes, coaches, and athletic department staff may not share information that could be used to wager on sports, including injury updates. Gambling activities have very specific limitations placed on them, so if you have any questions about this or any other compliance questions, feel free to contact the Black Bear Compliance Office at 207-581-1557 or visit goblackbears.com slash information slash compliance. This has been Compliance Corner brought to you by Lanham Blackwell and Baber. Alphonse Arena was overflowing with pink jerseys last week as the Maine women's hockey team held their skating strides game, all in their work to raise money through the Dempsey Challenge. Take a look. Skating strides is just a game we have every year uh, to raise breast cancer awareness, and every team in Hockey East does this. So it's really great to just get the fans out here, raise some money. We actually have been raising money for the past several months um, for this event, and it's really just raising awareness and um, supporting the Patrick Dempsey Cancer Center. Every year what we do is we uh, sell pink pucks, and um, the people that donate, they can donate as much as they want, and we put their name on the pink puck, and then we hang all the pink pucks right outside of our uh, offices for people to see. And we also sell uh, our our breast cancer jerseys that um, are donated by uh, Fairpoint, we really appreciate that. They um, are There's a silent auction during the game where people can um, auction, put, put a bid on the jersey and um, after the game they will get the jersey. It's awesome. I mean, just the ability to do this. We know a lot of other students don't really get this opportunity. Uh, it's it's probably our one of our most fun games all year. I mean, we, everyone looks forward to it. We get a great crowd for it. Um, we know it's something bigger than ourselves, so I think it's really given us a little extra motivation. Every year, actually, when we go to our coaches' conference in uh, Florida, they kind of go over the results, and most of the time we're at the top there, anywhere between four to 5,000 more than, than all the other teams. And so it's something that I feel our, our program and our, our school takes uh, you know, pride in being able to raise that money for such an important cause. And um, you know, we want to make sure that the girls understand the importance of this event, and um, we ask them to really you know, put in some time to be able to raise all that money. But it's definitely something that we're proud of and um, you know, ca uh, count on doing it every year. Anything we have, we are dedicated towards it. Um, we really just make sure everyone's participating. We'll go home and raise money. We don't even do it here. Um, it takes up a lot of our time. When we're not in school, not on the ice, we're, we're going to the mall to sell pucks. We come to other sporting events. So, I don't know. I think it's, it's just another part of our challenge, and we're trying to see how much success we can have with that. Primary among the concerns here for student-athletes is their academic performance. And the Black Bears had a record number of students honored at Scholar-Athlete Night. Tonight we have the honor of recognizing 268 student-athletes for academic achievement. Once again, once again this year we've broken our own record, and this year we'll be honoring the most student-athletes in the history of our program. And for the 11th consecutive year, we're honoring over one half of our total student athletes at the University of Maine. Let's give them a round of applause. As a former college athlete, I understand the hard work you do and the responsibilities you have as role models to so many. You constitute Division I athletics in the state of Maine and you have loyal fans throughout the state and the world with our 105,000 alumni. As Division I athletes, you contribute to the overall humane student experience, including the recruitment of other students to this flagship land-grant campus. From Barrington, Rhode Island, and the indoor and outdoor track and field teams, please, please join me in congratulating Wilson Adams, I'm not the strongest, I'm not the fastest, but um, I definitely love what I do. And that is the primary reason that I'm standing in front of you today. Um, if there's anything that uh, you may have likes to tell me, it's, uh, it's to love what you do and be passionate about it. I've been fortunate enough to love track, 
I've been fortunate enough to love engineering and uh, really enough love school. And uh, which is why I'm also going to be pursuing my PhD next year, which is uh, kind of cool. So, um, other than that, uh, I guess I, my advice to everybody else is um, just do what you love. From Cal, uh, Catlett, Virginia, co captain of the women's basketball team, please join me in congratulating Liz Wood. I just want to take this moment to say thank you to all the people at UMaine who have liberated me from my fears just with their presence and uh, created a young woman who hopefully will liberate others in the future. So thank you to all my faculty, coaches, teammates, um, my family who's not here, you know, and everyone who's helped me along the way. And uh, I'm really honored to receive this award. Thanks to the M Club. And uh, have a good night. Spring break is right around the corner with baseball and softball getting ready to play the majority of their games down south. We'll take a look at the U.S. Cellular upcoming schedule. Here in Orono, the swimming and diving team has excelled for years, but we wanted to know what goes into these techniques that they use on an everyday basis, so we investigated a little deeper. Take a look. I just like accomplishing something. Like I feel it's really good to accomplish something and to reach your goals and it's just that sense of getting something done that like keeps you wanting to do it and getting over your fears. So as I step towards the end of the board, I try to get as much height as I could, waiting for the board to press me all the way up, and I look for my toes in the pike. Then as soon as I spot the other end of the pool, I finish it and enter the water, hopefully tight. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week's edition of the Black Bear Insider. Thank you very much for joining us. If you want more information on the Black Bears, go to goldblackbears.com. They've got all the scores, stats, and anything that you could possibly want to know about your favorite team. Until we see you again, we'll say, Go Black Bears!